We're now in 2020 where there are a bunch of different diets, but which one is going to be the best diet to give you the most optimal weight loss results? Before I get into this video, I wanted to let you know that if you're looking to reach your fitness goals in the most enjoyable way possible, I have an affordable monthly membership program that will give you the tools and the support you need to be successful in 2020. The link is in the description below if you would like to read more details about it and sign up. So what is the best diet for you to lose weight in 2020? As you know, there are many different diets and dieting styles out there in 2020. We have keto, intermittent fasting, Whole30, flexible dieting, Adkins, South Beach diet, and the list goes on. But which one is the most effective? Which one is going to produce the best results for you when you're trying to lose weight? So I'm going to break down the best diet in three different categories. The first one is which one is going to give you the most results, which one is going to be the healthiest for you, and which one is going to be the most enjoyable for you. So for the effectiveness of a diet, any diet can be effective. Any diet can cause you to lose weight, any diet can even make you gain weight. What matters when it comes to weight loss is which diet is going to put you in a calorie deficit. So if you don't know what a calorie deficit is, I have an entire video explaining what that even means and how to actually create one for yourself so that you can start seeing results. In short, a calorie deficit is when your body is in an energy deficit because calories equal energy. So if you normally, let's say, maintain your current body where you're at by eating 2,000 calories, eating a little bit less than that would put you in an energy deficit, and the same thing would go for if you um, did not exercise and you started adding exercise into your routine, that also puts you in an energy deficit. Just to give you a little proof that a calorie deficit does work and you can still enjoy your diet and get the results you're looking for. Here's a photo of me in 2018 when I was dieting for a competition and I still had all of my favorite foods in my diet. I had French toast, I had ice cream at night, I made protein pancakes, I had tacos, I was enjoying my diet to the fullest while still losing fat. I have a free flexible dieting guide that will teach you how you can lose weight while eating all the foods that you love, just like I did. I will include that for you in the link below. It's free, all you have to do is click the link to get it. So once again, there is not one diet that's going to give you magical results. It's about putting your body in a calorie deficit. So whenever you hear someone say that they lost weight on this diet or they lost weight without even going to the gym, let's say. It's because their body was in an energy deficit. It's not the diet that made them lose weight. It's not the fact that they weren't working out that made them magically somehow lose weight because of the foods they were eating. It's because they were in an energy deficit, they were eating less. That's what all these diets are pretty much trying to get you to do, if you haven't noticed. Keto, you cut out carbs. Intermittent fasting, you're cutting out time periods in the day, so if you normally overeat at night, you're cutting out that window completely, which causes you to eat less. If you do Whole30 and take away all processed foods, you're also taking away a lot of calories from your diet. So that's what all these diets are doing. They're all trying to get you to do the same exact thing, which is eat less, but they don't actually tell you that's the reason. They promote that it's the diet itself and it's the foods that you're eating or the foods that you're not eating that's magically causing the weight loss. But it in fact is the calorie deficit that is the sole reason behind why weight loss can even occur in the first place. Of course, there are many other things that are important when it comes to dieting that I'm going to, of course, get into, but the calorie deficit is the most important thing that has to be there. If it's not there, you're not going to lose weight. Again, make sure you check out the full video I have on calorie deficits because this is going to be the most important thing for you to figure out on your weight loss journey. Moving into which diet is the healthiest for you. So if you've been here a while, you know that I 
despise restrictive diets. I do not like diets that make you fear food. You should never fear certain foods. The only time you should fear food is if you are allergic to a certain food, if you're intolerant to a certain food, and if you just know that certain foods don't agree with you too well, you probably want to stay away from them. But other than that, there is absolutely no reason for you to restrict your food groups because foods are not magic. Certain foods do not cause weight gain, just as certain foods do not cause weight loss. It would be pretty simple if it was like that because then you can just eat a banana and automatically lose weight or drink some apple cider vinegar and just have shredded abs, but that's unfortunately not how it works. I recommend having a balance of all foods, so making sure you are having carbs, proteins, and fats so that you have a complete diverse diet to give your body the nutrients it needs. If you're eating whole nutritious foods, that's great and it's honestly going to probably make you feel your absolute best and you're gonna get all your nutrients in, but at the same time, do not be afraid to have some ice cream or have some pizza every once in a while because it's so important for us to practice balance and for us to eat foods that we truly do enjoy and to listen to our body. I never, never recommend anyone to ignore cravings or to try to like power through their diet, which I'm gonna talk about a little bit later because that's not healthy for you. It's not healthy for you to be stressing about the fact that you can't have certain foods and to be obsessively thinking about foods. Like if you want some pizza, just have a slice because it's so much better to listen to your body and have that slice of pizza when you want it instead of holding it off, holding it off, and then one day you crack and eat an entire pizza pie. And finally, which diet is the most enjoyable? So this one's going to be completely up to you and I want to save this one for last because now that you know foods aren't magical, diets themselves aren't magical, any diet can cause you to gain or lose weight, now this is your chance to choose which diet you actually want to follow, which diet you're actually gonna be able to stick to and be consistent with, because this is the part where so many of us get caught up on and where we get so frustrated with our weight loss journey and our fitness journey in general because we sometimes struggle to stay consistent. And this will be the reason why you can stay on track longer than three days one week, one month, this will be the reason why you get long-term results. So you have to choose your approach wisely. So when you think about all these different diets, keto, intermittent fasting, flexible dieting, Atkins diet, Whole30, and everything else that's out there, ask yourself, do I want to follow this diet? Do I like this diet? Is this realistic with my lifestyle? Because if the answer is no to any of those questions, you're not going to be able to be consistent for the long term. Please don't get caught up in fad diets and trends. And if you're watching this in January, that's pretty much all you're going to be hearing at this time of year. There's a lot of different diets out there, a lot of different myths out there. And I just want you to choose the right approach for you. I don't want you to choose a diet because it's trendy, because it's what your friends are doing, what your coworkers are doing, what Kim Kardashian is doing. I want you to pick the diet you know that's going to work for you. I see a lot of people start restrictive diets and just think that they're going to suck it up and power through for the four, the six, the eight weeks that they're doing the diet. And they don't think about the long term and what's going to happen after that four, six, or eight weeks are over. What's gonna happen after the 12 weeks? What's gonna happen after you power through with this diet you don't really wanna follow and when you reintroduce those foods back into your diet that you've restricted? Are you going to be able to have a balance with those foods once they come back into your life or are you going to start binging on those foods because you've been deprived of them for so long? This is where rapid weight gain tends to occur and this is personally what I went through in 2015 when I was dieting for 12 weeks. I lost a lot of weight and I gained it back even faster because I was on such a restrictive diet. I did not know what to do with myself once I introduced these foods back into my diet because I had no control. I had no balance because all I knew was restriction. 
and unfortunately that led to me gaining 40 pounds in a blink of an eye and I don't want that to happen to you. I don't want your hard work to go to nothing. The style in which you eat should not change when it comes time for you to lose weight or if you want to tighten up a little bit. You should not have to go on a diet and sacrifice all of these foods and say goodbye to eating out and your social life because you can no longer have certain foods. The only thing that should change when you go on a diet is the amount of calories you're actually consuming. So please don't fall for these trends and these sexy new ways to lose weight and get it off fast because it's just gonna put you in the exact same place where you started because it's so unrealistic and unsustainable to follow a diet like that. That concludes the video for today. If this video was helpful for you, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions about the topics we discussed today and weight loss in general, drop a comment below. I would love to help you out and answer any questions. Happy New Year, and I will see you guys in the next video.